Okay, you ready? And it knocks you down. Just get back up when it knocks you down. Knocks you down. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I asked you guys on Instagram to give us y'all's best questions about marriage. Mind you, me and Jose have only been married three years. Together four. So we still have a lot of growing, a lot of experience experiencing things together. There's a lot we're still learning, but for what we do know, we could give to you guys. <laughs> the things we do know, we can give to you guys. Let's get started. Let's do it. Let's start answering y'all's questions. First question is, does he annoy you? Yeah, hell yeah. Very much so. Of course, when you're living together, that person's just gonna get annoying regardless. I mean, y'all are around each other all day, every day. You see the same person all day, every day. So that's just a given. Your significant other is just gonna get on your nerves. It's bound to happen. I get on your nerves. All day. All the time. Every day. <laughs> all the time. So yes, he does annoy me. Very much. <laughs> so the next one is from the Notorious Izzy. What's one of the most valuable things you learned from one another? You go first. But I'm not always right. She used to say that, and that's the only thing she's right about. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has this thing. He's working on it. You're working on it. What? He has this thing where he has to be right all the time. It don't matter what it is. But I, I have my facts, though. You know, I never come through with some BS. I don't ever no, come no, no, through no, 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 I just told him recently, babe, before you start arguing with me or with somebody, let's fact check. I always, before, no, 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 I no. always come with no, the facts, no, 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 though. No, no. I don't ever come with you mm. with, oh, I think this is what it is, so this is what it is. I don't ever come through that. I always be like, babe, all right, listen, <laughs> look, I got the facts. I, we could look this up right now. <laughs> Okay, no, he doesn't. I'd be like, okay, come on. True. He does not. He just started recently, like, okay, maybe you're right. But it's he has a problem admitting he's wrong. Am I right? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Sometimes she's right. Something something valuable I learned from him is patience. I, I haven't learned it completely, but I'm learning it. He's so patient. That's one thing Jose is really, really, really admirable. Yeah, I think so. Okay, about? I don't think that's how you use that word. That word. <laughs> I admire him for his patience. There you go. There you yeah. go. Because I have zero. But I'm getting better. I think I'm getting better. Yeah, you got a little bit of patience. Yeah. But he can sit all day and listen to you. and. You got the shins, but I mean, you ain't got the money to pay for it. Patience. Anyways. Okay, the next one is from, I don't know how to say your name, Esai, Esai Walker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Esai Walker. He asked, or she asked, what's the best part? The best part is waking up to each other <laughs> and having somebody to run to. That was going to be my answer. It's like, like I told you the other day, I was like, it's so fun having a best friend to do everything with. We get to do everything together, cook, and we get to clean, and we get to wake up, and we get to take the kids out, and we get to have mm -hmm. kids, and we get to, like, do life together, so I think that's pretty cool. It is. That's my best friend. Yeah, you, sometimes we don't like each other, but... Most of the time great. we don't like each other. Sometimes. Most of the time we're straight. I mean, you know, attitude. But... We never he ain't prideful. Okay. <laughs> this one's from Amy. This is actually a really good one. How do y'all overcome your anger with each other? And do you apologize or move on from it? So in the beginning, <laughs> when we were first like newlyweds, we would argue. We would just argue back and forth. Whoever got the last word, that was the kind of deal. But now we're working on apologizing as soon as an argument happens so we can just move on from it and not go days without talking to each other. Does that happen? Yeah. You get really mad at somebody you don't want to talk to. And we've had that. Where I don't talk to her for a couple of days because she says something or I says something, she ignores me. And uh, over time, you know, time heals. So you, you get over your feelings, you stop being prideful, and you're like, you know what? This kind of sucks not talking to each other. So let's just go ahead 
and talk to each other, you know, right, cool. And regardless, you have to talk to each other anyways throughout the day because there's bills and you have your kids and then there's things that go along throughout the day where you have to like talk. So it's better just to fix things immediately so that way you don't have that tension and then you don't feel awkward messaging or calling that person when you need something, vice versa. So right now, we are fixing it and moving it along as soon as possible. <laughs> so it's working right now. This one is from Bavisha. Bavisha, yeah. Okay, her question was, who's in charge? And it's obviously me. I'm the... <laughs> okay. Kidding. I'm Go just ahead. kidding, babe. No, I'm just kidding. It's Jose. It has to be Jose. I mean, that's just the way it goes. Yeah. Bib biblically, he's the leader. He's the provider. I'm the nurturer. Jose is definitely the one in charge when it comes to, like, financial things or like moving out here or like bills but i have a say so in like dinner and <laughs> dinner and, how and what we do on the weekends yeah, she does and how i wanted the house decorated yes this is this is all her if, if i was in here by myself it'd probably be this couch and that tv that's that'd it. Be it and a fridge full of beer <laughs> yeah so there's definitely a balance to it but for sure Jose is the one in charge this one's from Jason Jackson. Thoughts on age difference in relationships. Our advice on how to handle conflicts from it. We didn't have no conflicts. As long as they're above 18, you guys, 18 and above, I feel like there shouldn't be any issues. Mm -hmm. That's on y'all, that's like y'all's preference. I'll be 27 in July, and Jose will be 23 in October. So, I mean, we have a four year age gap. And it doesn't affect us in any way besides people finding out like, hey, you're way older than him. But mentally, this dude's older than me. It just depends, I guess. Like I said, as long as they're above 18, there should be no issues. Yeah, I mean, you say you see it all the time. You know what I mean? Like, you see somebody who's like 35, you with somebody who's like 23 sometimes. But you think back, they were like, what is that? It was 15 and the other person was... What four? four yeah. or five? If you look you back at it, it's weird. Yeah, but you look at them, you know, when they're grown, it, it looks absolutely normal. If you, you know, after 18, you're grown adults, ain't no problem. I mean, it could be like my grandma Selman, her boyfriend. Yeah, she's like 80 and he's 40. He's like 60. There's, oh, there's a 20 oh, year, yeah. there's a 20 year age yeah. gap. So if you think about it, she was 20 when, when she was, was born. 20. <laughs> She was grown. But now, but now it's not weird. They're both way older, no offense. They're both older, so it just doesn't matter now. But like I said, when you look back at it, it's like, okay, that's a little weird. Just your own preference, I guess. 18 and above though, don't be weird. Hey, this one's from Blaze. He said, what is the hardest part about being married? The hardest part, having patience with each other. Definitely, that's my main thing where it's and when she catch your attitude real quick, I shut it down. Just catch that at the door. Cause that is not what he says. I'm just saying, check it at the door. Cause I ain't, I don't play them games. I don't play them games. We move on about our day. I ain't trying to sit here, trying to give you attitude. I don't want you to give me attitude. That's just gonna be a sucky day. It actually does ruin your day. So as long as we both have that respect for each other, we straight. Have patience. Where's this damn fly? <laughs> This one's also from Blaze. He had a lot of good questions. He said, does it ever feel stale or boring? I've never had that. Me either. I've never got bored of you. I can sit here with you. We could be on our phones for hours. Yeah. Not say a word to each other. Yeah, not say a word and be like, all right, babe, I'm about to go to the bathroom. All right. What you got to tell me for? I don't know. I guess we're just so accustomed to being with each other now. Where it's like, uh, I accepted the fact that She's gonna be with me every second now. I was like, <laughs> till death do us yeah. part, even after get, death. I don't get bored. I don't get stale. Or I, it doesn't get stale. It doesn't <laughs> get boring. The notorious Izzy also asked, God forbid, but is cheating a deal breaker? Would it end it all? That don't even come to mind in our relationship because we know our morals. We know our. How do you say that? How do you say that? Uh, what you trying to say? Like we know that we're just not supposed to, like it's just not. Right, yeah. It's, it's just frowned upon. And you know, before you're married and you're dating, everything's off limits. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't, you don't belong to nobody. If you're 
married, then you bound by law. You bound spiritually. If you cheat, then you just a sucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you have no willpower over your temptations. Yeah, that don't even come to mind. This one's also from Notorious. He asked at Jose, as a man, do you lead off scripture and were you raised to? I do now. I do lead off scripture now. I try to wake up, do my part. I try to do my part, go sleep. You know what I mean? And I was I was not raised up on that. I was raised up. We went to church. Every, every other blue moon. My father, my mom, they never taught me about nothing, about nobody. Nobody taught me how to pray. I basically had to learn all that on my own. Whenever I met Marissa, she introduced me to all that. I took the reins and get it up with it, you know what I mean? And then I met her father, and he really kicked me in the ass and was like, you gotta get on the box. If you don't, your life's gonna suck. And looking back at it, my life did suck. And that was cool. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, last one. This is from the Pit Dog. What do you feel is the secret to making a marriage work for a lifetime? It's like a break. <laughs> you, your wife, and the Lord. Without that, without the Lord, bread ain't gonna work. You and that girl ain't gonna work out. My my thing is that obviously you're not perfect. Neither is your partner. But you guys have to be understanding and you're going to work on things together. It's not going to happen overnight. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen overnight. You have to be patient, kind, and understanding. And, and you have to trust each other. If there's no trust, you don't have nothing. But the understanding is a really big one to me too. We obviously grew up different. Our childhood are different. Different environments, yeah. I grew up high. You know, I grew up high. He grow. survived. Yeah, I wasn't no silver spoon fed boy. <laughs> you know, I made it. Here I am. And blow them. Blow right up. It, basically, if you walk spiritually, you ain't never gonna lose. I promise. You ain't never gonna trip. You're gonna see the log before you even get to it. <laughs> you can jump over it. You can skip, skedaddle, boom. Just walk spiritually. You'll be out. Alright, guys. Well, I hope that answered some of y'all's questions. There was a ton more, but. We could probably try a part two if y'all want. Be sure to like this video if you did find it interesting or helpful. If you have any questions, you can always comment down below and we'll answer them. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned. Every week you're gonna have a new video. Yeah, we stream every other day. Twin stream and then we stream and then twin stream and then we stream and then twin stream and then we stream and then a bop, 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 get it. <laughs> and then we try to upload every Monday or Tuesday. Right? Mm -hmm. Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. So, look out for that. With that being said, you guys, have a great rest of your week and we'll see you on the next video. Bye guys. Yep. Stream, and then we stream, and then the twin stream, and then we stream, and then the twin stream, and then we stream, and then a bop, bop, bop.